Habib, it's uh, you know undefeated, undisputed, but also now a UFC Hall of Famer as well. I mean, talk to me about just what that honor means to you in, in, in terms of everything that you've accomplished in your career. You know, it's like it's been a lot of things for me, you know, because like when uh, your hard works pay off, you know, you feel very good, you know, because I was working uh, like in this game, like almost all my life, you know, I spent all my time, I sacrifice a lot of things, you know, and now I, I become champion, I defend my titles, now they give me like, I, I'm, I think like I'm like youngest Hall of Famer of all time, right? I believe so. Like, like, like yeah. today, you know, it's like it's uh, it's it's big honor for me, you know, it's very big honor because because like it's when you become almost like legend on the, this sport, you know, yeah. when the UFC give you Hall of Fame, you know, put you on Hall of Fame. It's like, it's been a lot for me. It's awesome. Definitely a legend. And now a promoter as well. You've got a couple shows under your belt here in Miami. Talk to me. How has this experience been versus kind of what you expected? I mean, you've been in the fight game for a long time, but this is a different side of it. You know, it's like, but but this is a little bit different, but same time, this is, uh, you know, I understand this game. I understand, of course, I don't have like experience like Dana, Scott Cooker or other promoters because they was on this game like long time, like more than 10 years, 15, 20 years. You know, I have only like one and a half, two years. Uh, like uh, experience on this position but step by step I grew up a little bit you know every um, every single event I, I get some experience you know I see like sometimes we make mistake like uh, we write which I say like we have to fix this 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 about fighters about cage about promotion about everything you know I like I like this uh, business and uh, and uh, you know it's like uh, it's very fun it's very fun to grow up on this you know yeah. you broke some news the other day you surprised Everybody said, hey, this, this main event that you have, Junior Dos Santos versus Jorge De Castro, you said, hey, if Junior wins, I want to see him and Fedor Emelian yep. happen. Now, let me ask you, have you begun conversations with Scott Coker at all? Have you had any discussion about that yet? Yes, yesterday we talked, I talked with Scott. Uh, we're going to have a meeting next week in San Jose because I'm going to move uh, after a couple days. Next week I'm going to be in San Jose. I'm going to talk, uh, I'm going to see, uh, sit with him and we're going to talk about this. And I see like how I see, I think this fight can happen like 70, 80 percent end of the this year in Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, we have a conversation in Saudi with Saudi people. We have conversation with Junior Dos Santos, like with the Fyodor side, with the Bellator side, Scott Cooker, myself, like everything. We have everything. We just have to bring everything together and let fans join enjoy with this, you know. I think it'd be a phenomenal fight. Yeah. Do you see co-promotion as like oh, the way forward for Eagle FC or is this just like a very special fight that you want to make? I think only with very special fights, you know. Of course, for Fedor, we need, we have to work with uh, Bellator. And, you know, it's like, uh, because we have relationship, good relationship with uh, Scott Cooker, you know. Good relationship with Dana. If Dana wants, okay, let's go. We can do some good business together, you know. Why not? We're here, UFC there, you know. And uh, we have so many doors, you know. We can go and open, create some good, good uh, content, you know. So we have so many doors. And you know, I'm very happy, very happy because I have very big and a loyal team around me. They was with me like more than 10 years. And now we, even I finish my uh, fighting career, but now we create this content and I'm very happy with my team. I love it. The other side of the main event though, you said, hey, if Jorgen Castro comes in and wins, he could fight for the heavyweight title. This feels like it's got to be a special moment for him, like the biggest yeah. moment. It's like, can you imagine what he's feeling right now? Because I got to think this is the biggest moment of his career. Yeah, like I talked with him yesterday, he said like this is his um, uh, like biggest fight on his life, you know, and he feel very motivated and, uh, and he said, no way I'm going to lose with this fight, you know, I cannot lose this fight, you know, on this promotion, on this platform, fight versus legend, you know, himself versus Junior Dos Santos fight for the title, uh, fight for the contender fight after he can fight for the title. You know, he has so much opportunity, you know, and uh, if if this guy win, I think for sure his next day he gonna he gonna wake up like big star and he, this this fight gonna change his life, you know.
And not only are you, you know, busy promoting your brand, you're busy promoting Islam Mahashef as well, trying yeah. to get in that title fight. Any word back from Danny yet? You getting any progress on getting that deal done? You know, it's like, uh, it's not, 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 not finished deal, but uh, of course I'm going to promote him because he has 10 win streak. 10 win streak, he didn't lose more than seven years, he dominated with everybody. You know, it's like, who else? Charles versus Islam. This is biggest fight in UFC today. Who else? Like, of course, it's very interesting to see Charles versus Benil, but okay, he have seven win streak, and when they give him a contender fight versus Islam, he lose his chance, you know, and because he get injured, now he have to come back and fight with someone, and of course, after he can fight for the title. I think Islam deserve fight for the title versus Charles Oliveira. Benil, he deserve his contender fight. Okay, make him fight with someone, and these two guys fight for the title, then winner versus winner, they can fight March, April. It's like, I think it's the best scenario, you know? They put on the same card. Yeah, they can put on the same card, and uh, in Brazil, in Brazil, if uh, Dosanias win, I, I don't think Dosanias gonna fight with him, because they're friends, right? Okay, with someone versus Brazilian, he can fight the same card in Brazil, where it's gonna be headline, Charles Oliveira versus Islam Akhachev. Like, so many good options, like, you know, Abu Dhabi, Brazil, Vegas, like, anywhere, if these two guys gonna fight, and of course, then I'm gonna be involved. He's president of UFC. I'm gonna be involved, you know, like big brother and uh, long time spanning partner of Islam Makhacho. Like, this is two promoters gonna promote this fight. This this fight can be like one of the biggest on this year, you know? If we, if we promote this fight like right, this fight can be like the biggest fight in the UFC of 2022. I agree. I know you said, hey, leave me alone, I'm done. This is Islam's time, this is new guy's time. But yeah. when you see guys like Charles Oliveira and people start talking about, hey, that guy might be the greatest, do you ever start thinking like, I'm gonna go back in there and show I'm the greatest, why are they doubting me? <laughs> no, you know, it's like, like I feel bad for these guys, for this of two, because people still talk about myself when it's Islam and Charles' time, you know? I leave this alone, you know, but people have to leave me alone long too because they have to give credit you know people think I don't respect Charles Oliveira I respect him like how I can cannot respect me have 11 win streak you know he beat a lot of good guys he finished them you know it's like he's great athlete you know this is his time just give him give him him his credit and but please don't forget about Islam too Islam is there too he have 10 win streak you know they both deserve fight, fight for the title and uh, they have to fight for the title forget about myself well, I know I'm here for promote this <laughs> like, of course, I'm going to talk about my brother because he needs support. That's why I'm here. You know, when I need support, he always w was with me. He, he was not big star, but he was for me like my heavier sparring partner. And he pushed me every day inside the gym. And, you know, it's like this is the, this. The, that's why I can call him my brother, because when I need help, he helped me. Now is my my turn. Now he need my help because I am very famous. When I talk, Lara Media put, of course, I'm going to promote him. He is not four win streak, five win streak. He's ten win streak. He have seven years. He no, he not lose. Even on his all his professional career last like 12 years, he lose only one time. He have in a UFC, he have 13, 14 fight, you know, and I think he deserved this. And of course, I respect Charles Oliveira, but our plan, going to Brazil and finish him on his game, on the ground, you know, because Brazilian people, they most, they, they understand what is his ground, you know, because this is their game, this Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you know, and we just want to go on his hometown, finish this guy on the ground and take this belt and go back to Dagestan. There's never part of you that has your own pride, your own ego that's like, it's always Habib time. It may be their time, no, but it's no. always Habib time. Believe me, no, believe me, this is not about me, because I know it's like, it was when I just beginning my career, it was BJ Payton time. After become Frankie Edgar, after become Benson Henderson, then Anthony Pettis, then Dos Sanios, then Eddie Alvarez, then Connor. Then it was my time. Now is my time finished. Now is like Charles time, okay. After it can become Islam time. It's like always, you're not gonna be on this game long time, you know, professional athlete career is very short, you know, only, you can be on top only like few years, you know, like four or five years, you know, and these years go very fast because all day what you do when you're athlete, you train, you eat, you sleep and you repeat, you know, and day is finished, you know, and I think it's like, when my, my time was, of course, I'm like, no, 
no way is people gonna talk about other fighter, other lightweight, because I'm here. Now I'm finished. I leave this alone. Just let these guys fight for the undisputed title, Islam versus Charles, and that's it. Outside of Islam, what's the next number gonna made off that's gonna hold a title in a major organization? Who's gonna get there first? It's gonna be Umar. It's gonna be Umar here, fight 26, uh, 26 June. I don't want to talk about him like too much, you know, because uh, he have to, uh, he have to, uh, he have to deserve this like Islam did. Islam deserved this because he showed like 11, last 11 months, he finished four opponents, you know. And in UFC to finish four opponents in 11 months, this is like you have to be high level fighter. Now Umar going to fight 26 uh, June. He have very good opponent, 3-0 in UFC. After that, our contract finish. We're gonna negotiation. We're gonna make new contract. And I think like one and a half year. After one and a half year, people gonna talk about him. Like all media. Like just give him a little bit time. He's still young. But even he's very tough because I can see how he work, how he focus. He's like in our in our team, in my team. Like he is most focused guy uh, right now. Islam is number one, number two is Umar. You know, I really believe him and uh, like, I really believe he gonna become UFC Bantamweight champion one day. I love it. Last thing for me, uh, are we gonna see some business with Tony Ferguson? Are we gonna see the ultimate fighter on Flexcast? What, what are we gonna see? <laughs> you know, it's like this guy, like, like, I don't hate this guy, you know, I like him, like, but he have a little bit brain problem, I think. This is my opinion, you know? But for him, this is good because uh, like he's 38, he don't need to compete with all these lions, you know. They young, they hungry. Like he's like 38, just come with me, make money, do like some ultimate fighter show, be coach, be nice, you know. For him, for his kids, for his family, it's gonna be better. But I don't think he, he he's smart enough to do business with me. This is just what I think. A lot of big things coming up, but first it's Friday night, Eagle SC 47. You're saying the best Eagle SC yet. Yes, I think this is like uh, biggest, biggest fight card and the best fight card uh, of Eagle SC history. This is my opinion, you know. We have like uh, some great names, young young guys. We have big names like Thiago Silva, Hector Lomba, Junior Dos Santos, you know, like uh, legends, legends uh, on this game, you know, like very exciting about tomorrow night. and. Um, and uh, and heavyweight, you know, always like always exciting when two heavyweights fighting, you know, and uh, just don't blink, you know, someone gonna go sleep, I think. <laughs>